Indiana has a new law in place tonight that regulates the use of police-worn body cameras. And it has some Indiana police departments putting those cameras aside. Our David McNally tonight tells us why the sudden change. Some of the cameras, body cameras that police use at traffic stops and other incidents can cost as little as 100 bucks, but there are hidden costs. When he hits the streets in Greenwood, uh, magnet that's attached there underneath my collar, his partner is at his shoulder. That's the camera itself. When Greenwood police first introduced body cameras, did officers welcome them? Big round button right in the middle, we just tap that twice. Um, they didn't at first, actually. Um, not until uh, they realized that it can, you know, really have saved them in some instances. It was something new. Officers had to adapt. Now, they don't want to work without their body worn cameras anymore. But with other police agencies around the state adopting body worn cameras like Daleville and Clarksville and more, the legislature passed standard rules for all departments. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Every agency must hold on to video for 190 days. They have to make it available to people who appear in the video or have property that appears there or relatives of suspects recorded by cameras and give media access to. 133 there. As Greenwood did last month, after a family accused police in a man's death and raised questions about whether he was given aid. Oh, yeah. He's trying to hurt us all. But police said the video showed the man was given medical help after an officer used a taser. Just storing the video can cost over $100,000, according to police in Clarksville. That's why some Indiana cities, including Jeffersonville, have dropped their body cam programs. That city's chief said, quote, our current equipment capabilities do not expand to the specific level of enhancement required by House Bill 1019. Um, it saved our officer against complaints and lawsuits already. We can go in and verify and even pull the citizens in and show them the video and say, I'm sorry, but this is not what happened on the video. We have it right here. And that means money saved on legal fees and court awards, police say. It's actually also cut down on our complaints. After deploying cameras, Daleville's chief saw complaints fall by half. To keep their costs down, some cities like Greenwood are looking at bringing in a private company that would not only provide the storage, but also maintain the cameras, replace the cameras, fix them if they have to for a low fee. Back to you.